Imagine a life at Gompers Preparatory Academy where you don't need to depend on just your parents to come and go to school. Where if you miss the city bus or the trolley, you could still get to GPA before period one starts. Imagine not having to walk home for an hour and a half after AP series night or senior PM. What if, what if our students no longer have to wait in the dark at 8.30 p.m. right by the streets of Southeast San Diego. Let's take a look at a possible scenario of a student here at GPA. Enjoy. <laughs> it's Friday, just got out of school. I ain't got no job. That's right. I'm gonna get home, eat some frijoles with some rice, play some video games. Woo! Mama can't wait to get picked up. Hey mijo, I'm here. I'm sorry I'm a little late. I'm here to pick you up. I'm going home now. <laughs> the time has come for change. Let's watch. Mijo, wake up! Wake up! Wake up, mijo! Uh. Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna call Ego Safe Ride. Hello, Ego Safe Ride? Can you pick me up? I don't wanna be late. Yes, just in time. Oh, how much do I owe you, Ego Safe Ride? For you? Three. <laughs> you. Yeah, you too. No longer have to imagine. With Ego Safe Ride, we are making these hopes a reality. Good afternoon guests, colleagues, staff, and director overall. Thank you for being here today, and welcome to my senior talk, the Eagle Safe Ride. <laughs> my name is Ronaldo Renteria, and I have been working on an invention for our prestigious school. What is an invention, you might ask? Well, the word invention derives from the attraction at Disneyland that showcases near futuristic technologies. For the past 25 weeks, for the past 25 weeks, I've been working on an invention. When director explained the theme of this year's senior talk, I have to admit, I was nervous about creating an invention. I asked myself, how can I possibly create something that will benefit GPA students after I graduate? Many of my colleagues set on the same task from leaving a legacy with our middle schoolers or even beautifying our own campus. The class of 2016 is inspired by director from leaving a lasting legacy of joy here at GPA. As I was thinking on what my intervention might be, I reflected back on my high school experience here at GPA. Believe it or not, as I was growing up, I was a little bit shy. If you didn't believe that, you're gonna, have, you're gonna find this hard to believe. But in my junior year, last year, I was still shy, and still am today. Don't tell the director. 
I wouldn't communicate with any of my teachers at all, even if it was just a simple text away. I was scared of letting my teachers know I was going to be late. As my senior year came, as my senior year came around the corner quickly, I learned the importance of time management and communication. Every senior Monday, director starts class a certain way. I, for one, was personally inspired by one simple question a director asks the seniors to answer every Monday when he's teaching 123 of us here in the auditorium. The question is, were you on time to school today? When I thought about this question, I thought about it deeply. And my answer to that question was, no, I wasn't on time. My senior year was the first year I made it into honor roll. <laughs> but sadly, one of the reasons I never made it before was because I was never on time to any of my classes. Anyone who is constantly late is on the same boat. This needs to change. Director really stresses the importance of coming to school and being on time. It is a school-wide phenomenon that students have a high attendance rate. We, as GPA, average an attendance rate of 96.8%. Wow. That is amazing and unheard of. Please, if there are any students here in the audience, give yourselves a round of applause. Turn to your neighbor and say, thank you for being here today. No, no. Better yet, turn to your neighbor and say, thank you for being on time today. <laughs> all of us came here today, but we still need something to ensure that we can all get here on time and also stay after school without having to wait or walk in the dark. The work I've been doing has been to set up to possibly launch a pilot program for our school that is similar to Uber and Lyft. Organizations that with just a tap of a button are providing 410 cities worldwide with cheaper taxi-like service. Services like this are providing people that don't have a car or the ability to drive in a safe method of transportation. Not only will students have a way to be at school on time, they will also be able to request a ride from a staff member who is a safe driver. But how would this work? I'll tell you how. Students will be able to sign up online a day before, as staff members who are safe drivers already can see who will be needing a ride, whether it's in the morning or the afternoon. You can also call even if it's just a last minute thing. Eventually, it is my hope that Eagle Safe Rides can continue after I graduate and that someone can innovate the app to go along with our program. <laughs> Isaac. If this doesn't already sound amazing enough, get this, Eagle Safe Rides, when started, will guarantee to be free for all students. Wait, but how can this be free? I'll tell you how. In February, director gave a talk called You Matter, where we learned the importance of coming to school. Each student makes about $55 a day just for coming to school. For all senior rewards, our senior class needs a 95% attendance rate. It, it, is the same as getting, it is the same as getting paid to go to work every day. Eagle Safe Rides will, he, will help maintain a high attendance rate. With 187 days of school, 95% attendance rate means only missing nine to 10 days throughout the whole school year, which is the same as missing one month, as missing one day a month. 
But something that makes GPA truly unique from other schools is our kind, caring staff members and teachers. If there are any students, I mean teachers or staff in the audience, please raise your hand. Let's direct, to our, let's direct our attention to them and give them a round of applause. Thank you for always going the extra mile for our students. No pun intended. <laughs> the second reason why Eagle Safe Rides would be free for all students is because our ESR drivers would be our kind, caring, and loving staff members here at GPA. The time it takes to organize this project will be student-led. Students will need to be effective time managers. And also, students will need to be excellent communicators. Equal Safe Rights can be a product created and led by students for students. It's a great idea, right? So what does it take to start turning this idea into a reality? At first, I started to do research on the existing services that have the similar concept as Eagle Safe Rides. The services I looked into were Uber and Lyft. If you have never used an Uber or Lyft app, here's a quick video on showing you how to use the app. Welcome to Uber. A reliable ride is always just minutes away. Let's get one. These are all the cars in your area and how close they are. You also have options from the everyday to the premium. Got a quick errand? Get a low-cost UberX. Are you riding with friends? An Uber XL is an inexpensive SUV with room for everyone. Black is the original Uber for when you want to step it up. Tap the vehicle icon for rates. Now set your pickup location by moving the pin or typing it in. Enter your destination, and your driver will know where you're going once you get in the car. Every ride is cashless. You can change your payment method by tapping this button. Want to see how much it will cost? Get a fair quote. If you have a promo code, enter it here. Nice. $20 off my first ride. And request. John will pick you up in two minutes. See, that's him. He's driving a Toyota Prius. You even have the license plate number. Wow, his rating is 4.9 stars. And here he is. Hop in. When you get to your destination, just hop out. You'll see your fare summary and get to rate your driver. Enjoy your ride. While the app is still not cre yet created, the concepts are the same. Students will be able to request a ride, whether it's for the morning or the afternoon. I met with Ms. Limon, our talent services manager, and talked about how many staff members and, stu and teachers were safe drivers of GPA. If you are a safe driver, of GPA, it means that you are authorized to have a student in your car, whether it's to take them home or on a school outing. From this meeting, I discovered that there are about 41 staff members and teachers who are safe drivers of GPA. Now, I just needed to find this information out. I created a survey on the Google form and then sent out the survey to all staff members and teachers the results were 60% of the teachers and staff members who applied are willing to be an ESR driver. After this, 
I realized that I could already start matching safe drivers and teachers with students. So if only I knew which students needed a ride and when they needed a ride. So I created another survey for the seniors. And I asked the following question. If offered, would you sign up for the service? The results were 85% of the senior class would sign up if this offer was, if this service would offer to them. Throughout this project, I have realized that I am creative. In the past, when it came to organizing or planning for a school project or a party, I would mess up things. I wasn't detailed or as careful as I am today. I have, not, I have more attention to detail when creating surveys, schedules, or other important documents. The reason why I'm passionate about this senior talk is because I want to help others, I want to provide others with a safe ride option and that their citizenship will not be affected by tardies or absences. Life does happen, and some of our students aren't able to get to school on time. ESR will help maintain that high attendance rate. As of now, I have found someone that is willing to continue this project, but they can't do it alone. So if you are interested in continuing, in continuing this project, please contact me. You may find my information on the back side of the brochure. At the meantime, I would like to invite you to participate in any of these ways. Students, I mean, teachers and staff members, please become a safe driver. A big shout out to the staff members and teachers who have shown interest. Students, please communicate in the need of this service. Continue developing ESR. I've started with the senior class as a test run. However, I would like ESR to be a possibility for our egos. Thank you, and this concludes my senior talk.